Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we're converging again here. Keep going and moving forward, yeah? So let's give a big round of applause to the family. <laughs> Comrades, our, uh, our first uh, speaker is uh, Kwanda Mooka Man and an ETU delegate, Thor Anderson. He's going to come up and do it in all the music. You're a hero. Garing in an army. Toji Mobiro, no. Garing in an army. You're a hero. Big and chill. My name is Thor Anderson. My people are the newbies from Mount Company, Morton Island. For millennia, we have travelled over sand and sea, up Megijin, here to Maywa, Brisbane, land of the Yuggera and Turrbal peoples. We pay our respects to the elders past, present, and recognise their ongoing connection to this country, and that sovereignty has never been ceded, always was, and always will be. It serves as a reminder to us all as trade unionists of our shared responsibility to each other and to this land. Live on and that we call home. I say these words, Niara Inacha Jalilia. It means we all stand together. You wait. Thank you.
brothers and sisters. What an occasion. Our union, our proud union, is under the worst attack that we've ever been faced with. In fact, it's the worst attack on any union in this country's history. But before I say a few words, I do want to acknowledge Thor, and I want to acknowledge his grandfather as well, Uncle Bob Anderson, who is royalty in our union, a man that has fought against oppression his entire life and an inspiration and one of my mentors as an Aboriginal elder, as an organiser of our great union in the 60s and 70s, on the front line of many fights in his day. And we can learn a lot from heroes of the working class like Uncle Bob Anderson, so I just want to acknowledge Uncle Bob as well. There's no bad day to be a trade unionist, but today's a pretty good day, isn't it? Trade unionism is a way of life. Trade unionism is a calling. It's a set of principles, it's a code that we live by. And that is what is under threat here. This fight that we're all in now is much bigger than the 270 office holders that were ripped out of their democratically elected positions on the 23rd of August. It's much bigger than just unions in general. This is a fight for the type of country that we want to live in and the type of country that we want our children to grow up in. That's the fight that we're all in now. And we didn't start this fight, but by Christ we're going to finish it! support this fight, we've obviously started a campaign, a really important campaign known as Your Union, Your Choice. That campaign is to support a High Court challenge to the laws that was lodged. Michael Rabbar's going to report on that in a moment, so I won't talk about the High Court stuff. But it's also to raise awareness and to publicly advocate against these rotten, unjust, un-Australian, undemocratic laws. Because we're not going to do it on our own. We need to mobilise in our communities. We've got amazing support across the trade union movement. And I really must acknowledge the ETU. Let's give them a round of applause. The support's been unwavering. I must acknowledge the Plumbers Union. I must acknowledge the Metal Workers, the RTPU, the Firefighters Union, the Mighty MUA. We're also going to hear from someone from the Teachers Union in a moment. The National... I get a bit excited. So we need everybody to support this campaign. If you haven't already, we need you to like, share, follow the page. We need you to promote it as best you can in any way you can. If you haven't contributed to the crowdfunding, yourunionyourchoice.raiselysite.com, we need you to get on there and contribute to that as well. Help us grow this uh, momentum, help us build this momentum so that we've got the money and we've got the means and we've got the, uh, the community support to win this fight. The powers of administrators. I don't know if this has been spoken about yet. And if you weren't angry before now, why do you hear this? <laughs> The administrator has been given power to sell union assets. Let's be clear on that. They're not his to sell. The assets of your union are owned by you, the rank and file members of the CFMEU and nobody else. It is your union. It is not theirs. But that's the power that they've been given. They've been given power to change union rules and send union coverage to other unions like Australia's weakest union. They've been given power to terminate 
terminate staff, to terminate organisers, to terminate delegates who you've elected to represent you. The administrator has those powers. They've been given the power to appoint new staff and appoint consultants and appoint new auditors. And guess who pays for it? We all do, as members of our union, the union pays for this. The administrator themselves are paid by the union. About three million bucks a year nationally. Shame. And if they stuff up, which they will, and they already have, guess what? They're indemnified. What does that mean? They are protected at law. So if they make mistakes, it's the union that has to bail them out of it. It is written into the law. It's an absolute disgrace. And so you need to know this, because knowledge is power. If you weren't angry before hearing that list of greatest hits, and they've got other powers, but if you weren't angry before that, I'm sure you are now. And it's up to us now to do something about it. What I want to do is I want to give a big rap to all of the organisers, the delegates and the staff of the union that are still in there fighting the fight from the inside. Can you all give them a round of applause, please? That's what union labour does. We build it safely, we build it with 
quality, slice of the pie. Enough is enough. It's got to stop, and we're going to make it stop. Yeah, the sign! Yeah, the sign! Yeah, the sign! Yeah, the sign!